that she did it for money, and I was petrified that she was gonna get like 10 years. The jury didn't do that. They sentenced Chasey to life in prison with the possibility of parole. She'll be at least 59 before she can be released. She's gotta live with what she did, but if, but if she's one of those people that doesn't really have remorse, I don't know. You're gonna live with it too. I mean, it took me a long time to get over Bobby's phone calls that weren't coming through anymore. Her phone still rings, but now it's the firefighters who worked with her son. He always told me, Mom, if anything ever happens to me, he says, you will have a second family. And I said, thanks for joining us. Where the hell are we? Hey, Todd, what you up to? To celebrate the return of our beef tamales smothered in chili and cheese, I made this. Wow. Yeah. It's just a pinata. I'll go see if he's okay. <laughs> Ouch! It's fiesta time. Our beef tamale smothered in chili and cheese. Only at Wiener Schnitzel. You've probably heard of Scientology. Why is it a religion? Why is it What's it mean? Well, whatever you have heard, if you haven't heard it from us, I can assure you, we are not what you expect. So take a look, and then decide for yourself. This is NBC4 News at 11. Right now at 11, protesters camp out in front of L.A. City Council member Kevin DeLeon's home. And tonight they say they are in it for the long haul. This all comes during continued calls for his resignation. Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. That demonstration started small today. And we see for us, Darsha Phillips is live in Eagle Rock, where we know that number, Darsha, of tents continues to grow. Jonathan, Kathy, that is right. And protesters here calling this Operation Resignation. These folks have been here since yesterday. This is their second night camping out in the neighborhood where Kevin DeLeon lives. And you can see the tents behind me and also the setup. They've got food. They've got supplies here. They are here for the long haul. They say they are going to be here camped out in front of DeLeon's office until he is out of office. Nearly two dozen protesters demonstrating near the home of council member Kevin DeLeon. KDL is at the poor. We don't want to hear no more. He has to leave office immediately. It's incredibly arrogant for him, who has not been a faithful public servant to all of Los Angeles, to stay in office. And um, he needs to go. The group outraged. The council member hasn't resigned his seat on city council a week after racist recordings of him, Nuri Martinez, and Gil Cedillo were made public. Martinez resigned her seat on council, and these protesters say De Leon needs to be next. He knows better. He was actually a student in my class in 2002, 2003. And so he knows what he did. He knows. Um, it was intentional. We're going to be camped out until Kevin gets out. Melina Abdullah with Black Lives Matter says the group is prepared for the long haul with food, water, and tents. Take accountability. What you did was wrong. Take accountability. Take accountability, and that means you don't get to hang on to your city council seat. So I'm not going to speak no, for you. I'm not, not here to speak for you. Counter protesters did show up at one point, arguing that DeLeon shouldn't have to resign his seat. Everything remained peaceful, but some neighbors are upset about the profanity on the signs and in the chants. It is our duty to fight for freedom! There's too many kids here to go through this, to use these words. Okay, now if I went in their neighborhood, would they like it? It's the same thing. Other neighbors say they want to focus their energy on the message, holding De Leon accountable and getting him out of office. Well, I really don't understand why he thinks he can ride this out. And I'm hoping that this helps show him that people are not going to just forget about this. Now back here live, here's another look at the group that's camping out inside, uh, outside of the home of Kevin De Leon. And as I mentioned, the group continues to grow. It's been growing throughout.